1600 meters and away they go. Imperial Wish was slow about a length when the starter said go. Gretius also not that well away. Light and bright, the first one to break the line. Lady Cougars right there in the early stages. The green and darker green checks. Disky's in the yellow on the outside. Flamenco Fusion, the white cap. Lights and bright park to the inside. The red blinkers. And Imperial Wish is now tearing through the field. She's using up a lot of energy. Imperial Wish, after a slightly tardy beginning, she's darted up to race second. Egregious further back in the running. Kisatsu towards the inside. Blue silks with the gold stars. Then comes Roy's Royalty, the orange cap and green sleeves. Egregious Agapi reigns. Further back is Lady Kington and Cape Jewel is your trailer. Disky has the lead by three parts of a length. Imperial Wish in the all red silks travelled up second. Lady Cougar towards the inside travels third. Two and a half off the tempo. Flamenco fusions in the purple silks. Light and bright Roy's Royalty, Egregious Kisatsu. Then comes Agapi Reigns. Cape Jewel behind these, Lady Kington. Homeward bound 500 ago. Disky's done her work in front and Imperial Wish now burns to take it up. And Imperial Wish hits the front as they come to the last 350. Light and bright Flamenco Fusion. Roy's Royalty Egregious looking to get going with 250 to go. But it's Imperial Wish who's clear by a length and a half. Roy's Royalty to the outside. Light and bright's running on. Imperial Wish has a length to spare. Roy's Royalty on the outside. Imperial Wish is flat to the boards but she changes legs and changes Gears Imperial Wish, not for the catching. Roy's Royalty second, light and bright, and then came Egregious. Imperial Wish has certainly answered all the questions out here today. Well, from day one, she's been a very difficult customer. She only came to the course late on. And from the stable, they said she was a horse. They worked with her for months and months back home to get her into the gates to behave herself. They got the horse whisperer, Glenn, at the gates there. Goes in with the Monty Roberts blanker. You'll see some other equipment on the face and that, some other bridles and a few other things that they get to work with. Imperial Wish, she was slow. She darted around them. But certainly when push came to shove, she found a lot more. Second goes to Roy's Royal. Light and bright, Egregious, Flamenco, Fusion, and then came Kisatsu further back in the run. So number two, Imperial Wish. This is from the Dennis Dreyer stable, the daughter of Silvano, bred by the main chance farms for Canute Hogue and Sean Cormack. She came into the driving seat at the top of the lane, travelling well, and just for a couple of strides, just seemed to labour, and that's when Roy's Royalty got to within three parts of a length or a length, and then Imperial Wish, you notice she changes legs and she changes gears there, and she actually starts to extend away again, going past the winning post, and then a couple of strides after that, you'll see she's just having a look at her scenery and that, but there you can see with the bridle, there they've got another hood there type of another rope there to keep her tidy at the gates and to keep all things under control but number two imperial wish she's gifted with the ability just to get that mind 100 percent right but she's delivered and what more can you ask two from three she's been in the number one box i'm sure the stable will fill you in on her her last couple of weeks how she's been doing and what they'll be expecting as we hand you back to the studio well well done to trainer dennis dry and his team of course mr o owner Canute Hogue and Breeders, Main Chance Farms, with his daughter of Silvano, a 375,000 rand purchase, and she's now notched up a second career win from just three runs. Stuart was concerned about how she's going to behave, uh, etc. today, and how she's going to relax and settle. A lot of hard work has been done behind the scenes, it seems, uh, uh, Stu, and it paid off handsomely today. Yeah, listen, she's not the easiest. I mean, you saw her go down, she wanted to oil and then you know she jumped the patches coming after the pull-up and you know obviously what well, got to thank Lynn again you know to get her in the pens he does a good job with her and like yeah she's not the easiest but she's loaded with ability so we you know we kick on and it seems that way because I mean if she can p somehow relax and settle in her races she could turn on and win a, a few eats for Knut yeah let's just hope you know with racing she gets a little bit better and better and uh, just obviously very well done to Knut and well done to Dennis before you leave us, you've got a horse coming off a lengthy break at the back. Comment? Yeah, like I said to you earlier, you know, she's working well, but she might just need this one. You know, the race might be one or two weeks early. But she, you know, she's well drawn and, uh, you know, she's got the speed. She'll be up there. And if she doesn't weaken too much, she'll, she's definitely a runner. I'll give our best to the boss and the owner. Well done. Well played. Yes, too. Thanks, Dean.
Lovely. Now, a gentleman that's got to know this fully is, of course, jockey Sean Cormack, a stable jock and partnered her last time out. Talk us to her and her, and her, and her antics and her behavior, Sean. Yeah, I thought she was uh, slightly better behaved last time. Uh, she just pulled in the race, you know, jumping from a 5 to a 1500. So she just had a little bit too much speed last time today. She, uh, you know, obviously the way the track's racing, the pace was on. But she, uh, she settled nicely in second. She was in the open, but I wasn't too worried because she dropped it on me. And, uh, and she came out to, to do the business. Um, just obviously, I mean, we all know how much work's gone into this into this filly, uh, Stewie and, and Glenn and everybody else who, who's been behind the scenes. Um, but I will tell you that I my riding day today. I must compliment you on it. It just shows, you know, experience and talent in the saddle because you, you, you just did everything right today. You know, I was watching it on the monitor and uh, Wesley was getting a bit agitated, but I said, no, Sean's going to bring this one home. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> um, yeah, listen, that, that's why I'd rather take your word for it. Yeah. Hey? Um, she's, uh, I, th I thought the race worked out really nicely for me, you know, um, I had Anthony who I thought was my, my main danger, he was, he was on my inside and I managed to slot in in front of him and uh, I, I knew I was giving him a nice lead but um, I knew that my filly was nice and settled and that he would uh, have to work to get to me but uh, you know, as I say, just full marks to everybody who's, who's put in the effort just to get her to a race course, at one stage it didn't look like we were going to get her there. Stating the obvious, I mean if she gets to relax and learn how to race, she could be something uh, that we could follow in the future. I don't want to be negative, but I don't think she's going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's going to make all of our lives a misery until, until she leaves, leaves for greener pastures. But uh, going to turn out to be your favorite horse in the yard, Sean. <laughs> yeah, Stu just said to me, he said, it must be my favorite horse now. Sure. So, um, you know, with Beach Beauty, she's filled the spot now, hasn't she? Um, yeah, listen, I, I just, uh, I, I hope that she does settle down. I don't think it's going to happen. I think she's going to be hard work. But let's just hope the older she gets, the, the more uh, relaxed she gets. Um, just obviously, to well, well done to Knut, and I think, I think Mrs. Dry has got a share in this one. Uh, just well done to them, they're, they're up in Joburg. And um, to obviously, to my sponsor, Highlands, who are doing a fantastic job. Nice ride here, Shawnee. Before you leave us, Stuart was on the fence. He said maybe the horse in the back will need it. You've been working the... the yeah, yeah, obviously, I've worked her. Um, she's, listen, she's, she's got plenty of ability. But, you know, when you haven't run for approximately a year and a half, mm. uh, it's, a, it's a hell of a long time. And I don't care even if it's five furlong. But, uh, but she's got loads of ability. And um, if she doesn't need it, uh, you know, she's, she's going to be a threat. But, uh, you know, I think uh, uh, we, we just wanted to come out of it in, in one piece and, and look for, for better things for her. Gave Keegan the mellow handshake before. I think I need, you deserve one. Thank you. Thanks very much. Well done. Jockey Sean Cormack here on the favorite number two, Imperial Wish. Two, eight, three, and one if you caught this quartet race number seven. Lucky last coming up next. Quartet Maxi Pool carryover. The last leg of the place accumulator and pick six race number eight.